It's Monday, and we love to gather around the table with our foodie friend and expert, Jolene Ketzenberger. Hi, Jolene. Hello. Hi, Jolene. You have a good weekend? I did have a good weekend. Nice. Yeah. What earrings are we rocking today? Uh, well, they're kind of shaped like Indiana, but I don't think they were oh, intended yeah. to be shaped like I see like that, though. I like yeah. those. You always got some fun flair. That's, that's what I see. I know. Fun There's bling. Fun pop of color. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the dining scene. Oh, What's new? Oh, my goodness. So, so you guys have played pickleball, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right? A couple yeah. times. Yeah, so Rick Witzkin, yeah. <laughs> chicken and pickle is coming to Fishers, just oh, for you, right? Come on, <laughs> Fishers, let's go. So, so it's at Fishers, it's going to be at Fishers District opening early next year uh, with indoor outdoor games, including pickleball oh, cards. Pickleball's <laughs> blowing up. It really it is. is a big yeah. thing. It's yeah. a thing, right? Oh man, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Oh, so that'll be even more of an area where families. Oh yeah, come it's in and, Fisher's you know, District. You know, nice. all stuff. Great. You know, there at 116th and yeah. I 69. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Oh man, you might yeah. see me there. Out yeah. there playing play pickleball. Play pickleball there. You're yeah. making the woods. You Let's know. Go. Yeah. Let's form a team. Let's go. Let's do it. We're <laughs> forming a team. That's yeah. right. Cool. And also, but also in Fisher, so Angela's Italian Market is opening. I think it's April 6th. So that's fun. So you can get you know, your fresh pasta right there, right Ooh. off of. Uh, Nothing better than that. Maple, Maple Street. Come on, four six zero three eight, making moves. <laughs> I like it. Right there, on, right there on one sixteenth. Come on, that's my home. <laughs> I love it. And then Crazy King Burrito <laughs> has, has announced that they'll be opening in Carmel Fisher's okay, at right. Westfield. We'll, but, we'll accept but that. But Carmel okay, is okay. Carmel is first, and so that's coming in June to hundred to uh, North to North Meridian Street. Um, so that'll that'll be fun, kind of near where the beer brewery is, if you know where. Oh yeah, that, that logo. That's, that's a cool logo. Up, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah. Crazy game. All right. <laughs> then, um, so out in Lawrence, I hadn't been over in Lawrence in a while. So Cafe Audrey there at Fort Bend is now open in the evening. So it's a oh. big breakfast lunch place. Yeah. Uh, but now you can get your dinner, your breakfast for dinner. That's right? great. That's nice. I've been there before and I kept thinking, right? wait, how do I know this? That's name? exactly yeah. great so breakfast. They've been on before too. Like biscuits and gravy really and good. fried potatoes. Gosh, those look good. <laughs> Hard look, to pass though. Look at how Midwest that looks right there. It's so Midwest. Just so Midwest. Midwest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Midwest. But, but then also in, in uh, Lawrence out on Pendleton Pike, uh, Terramar um, Seafood and Meats, okay. and nice cozy carnets, huh. uh, is, is getting a lot of buzz. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's a newish restaurant out there on Pendleton Pike. So I've been kind of excited about Ooh. trying that, oh, right? right? That. Look at that spread right I there. Know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so so that, yeah, that looks great. So I need yeah. to get out there oh, uh, as awesome. soon as possible, right? Terramar Marisco. Right, right. Okay. Cool. And then, of course, you know, the, the Pacer Sports and Entertainment announced that yes. the big development by Gainbridge Fieldhouse with the Cunningham Restaurant Group. Wow. Um, and Cunningham is expanding as well. So, oh, and they're going to have that, that basement speakeasy. Look how beautiful you know, that's, that's going cool. to be. Just for us, right? Just for Another us. speakeasy. Well, Jolene, wow. it's great because we're running our speakeasy story with you today. Uh -huh. Oh, how fun. Yes, oh, so that's great. perfect timing. Yeah, that's great. This is awesome, and Man. everybody I know around town is a lot, pretty familiar with Cunningham. Of course, and yeah. right? right? So you know it's going to be a great you know, spot. So there's going to be it's a sort of a steakhouse, chop house kind of place, um, and then and then the basement speakeasy, also event space there as well. Nice. Three, three awesome. stories. There's right. a lot of really fun stuff happening. There's a lot of stuff. Happening. Not just in Indy proper, but all over Central Absolutely. Indiana. Absolutely. Yeah, exciting. love seeing the, the yeah. growth and the development. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jolene, very I know fun. everybody loves your segments because Aww. it shows them all the new places they can go. What's the best way to follow Oh, they can just follow me on, on Facebook and Instagram, you know, look up Culinary Crossroads on, on Facebook. So um, lots, of, lots of ways yeah. to connect. Awesome. Well, thanks for yeah. keeping us informed as always. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it was perfect that Jolene talked about this <laughs> yeah. because coming up next, <laughs> oh, we want you to join us for a fun <laughs> tour of some, some of Indy's most popular speakeasies. You do not want to miss it. Look at that trio oh, right yes. there. It's so much fun, you guys. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stick around. They look like a good time. Yeah.